weekly in-depth view of agriculture up close. This is In the Field. We've been to the timber and learned the job of the logger. But what happens to these logs next? We're here at Burke Timber in Marionville, Missouri to find out. Let's go meet Kelly. Kelly, you shared with me that it's uh, you're the third generation involved in the forestry industry, um, so it's kind of in your blood. How did it all get started? Take me back to a little boy growing up. Well, as a little one, my grandpa had us out in the woods, and and we made split posts and cut firewood and logs and whatever we had to do to try to feed and uh, eat. So, uh, and he used to make. Uh, grandpa was raised in it as a little boy. He made ties with an axe hewed him out by hand and carried him out on his shoulder. What a skilled labor. <laughs> so, you know, that was uh, more in the Van Buren, yes. further east in Missouri. So you're here in, in Stone County and you set up as a, as a logger and, and running a sawmill. Take me through um, your day-to-day. -day. What does it look like um, after these logs come in from the woods? Well, we, they come in and they weigh on the scales. They come around and unload. Uh, they, they'll be stacked in these stacks of logs, loaders uh, uh, on a rotation. They'll be brought into the sawmill, and, uh, and then we just try to saw uh, railroad ties out of the heart of them, flooring and cabinet grade lumber out of the sides, and the low grade will neither go into the pallet industry or the industrial side. I'm guessing that every day is a little different for you. Sometimes running a chainsaw in the woods and others um, here in the sawmill. Yes, ma'am. It's uh, it's always interesting. It's a new day every day. Uh, Maybe working uh, in the back of the sawmill one time, uh, out in the woods cutting trees one day. Maybe uh, engineering, building something, welding to try to fix something. So, <laughs> Maintenance crew. Yeah, it's uh, it's always interesting. Most days it's fun. Talk about uh, your philosophy in running a business. You kind of shared. Um, you know, you want to treat uh, your employees fair, but also um, the landowners. How does that all come into play? Well, just that's the way I was raised with my grandpa always telling us, just be fair. You, you know, it's not all about what you make one day. It's what you, you know, you've got to treat people like you want to be treated. And we've always tried to buy our timber and buy our logs. That, that same philosophy is, uh, you know, pay for them you know if, mm -hmm. if they're what they're worth you know don't don't try to steal them and and uh, you know just give give what's fair you know be fair to everybody well and people may not understand or realize that uh, different types of trees have a different value based on their demand today people are interested in in oak but other down the line trends might change so what kind of drives that demand uh the most of it is just market demand housing uh you know what, uh, sometimes it's just a fad, you know. Uh, might be uh, a hickory one day, it might be uh, white oak the next. And uh, so we, we just kind of have to follow the market and the housing demand, you know. And what does that market look like today? Today it's kind of soft. Soft. Uh, you, know, uh, the, it's, you know, a lot of our product is uh, shipped overseas on the, on the flooring side and uh, on, some, on that uh, high grade market. And uh, it's a little, little soft right now. Well, let's head into the sawmill and kind of see some more action. All right, great. So Kelly, the first stop for these logs coming out of the timber is to be weighed. What's next? And the truck driver, he'll go in and unload them in a row down there. And we try to keep our rows dated and so that they're, they're kind of sawed, you know, as they, as the, on the date that they came in or not the oldest first. Mm -hmm. And so then it will go into the head saw and, and that sawyer is trying to uh, square that log up to with a six inch face on four sides. And then he sends it over to the grade resaw. And the sawyer in that cab then uh, grades the log to, to know how much lumber to take off of it and what, what kind of lumber he's gonna take off of it down to a railroad tie, which is a seven by nine tie out of the heart of it. Um, and there is also a market for the sawdust and landscaping mulch. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the sawdust, uh, we sell a lot of it to Kingsford, which they make charcoal. Mm -hmm. And then we also sell some to uh, the people with horses. They like it for bedding. There's no waste 
everything is used. We don't, we don't throw anything away. Kelly, you mentioned that you're third generation, but you're also raising the fourth and fifth generation with your son and nephews. What's it mean to be uh, raising them in the same tradition you were raised in? Well, it just makes me pretty darn proud. Uh, I'm glad that they took an interest in it and uh, are willing to learn it and do it. Uh, just from my grandfather all the way up. It's just, it's, it's pretty important. I'm, I'm sure glad they did it.